Hello. Can you hear me? Is this on? Okay. Um, I'm Kevin Sauer. I'm the, the founder and CEO of Noor Energy. We're um, a utility scale solar power plant developer, and we develop projects in Greece, France, Tunisia, and Morocco. Um, we specialize in a technology called CSP, concentrated solar power, which um, allows you to store energy, which avoids the problem that um, Dr. Kuzukos mentioned about the integration of renewables into the grid. Um, we're able to store the energy, so we actually can provide firm capacity like a fossil fuel power plant. And this is very, very important because one of the biggest um, problems that not only Greece has but a lot of the European countries is the integration of renewables and how do you fit that within the, the market structures. It causes um, endless um, technical and economic problems. Um, we seek to avoid that by focusing on a technology which allows us to really look like a fossil fuel power plant or even a nuclear power plant um, inherently because of our um, technology. Um, we must say that um, our experience in Greece, I guess we've been here for over four years now, um, has been um, overwhelmingly positive on the licensing front. I know you may be surprised to hear me say that because everyone complains about the bureaucracy, the chaos, the difficulties. Um, we've actually um, found the, the, the regulator, the PPC, the, the, the grid operator all to be very professional and the rules to be clear and we followed them and I think we actually received an installation license in record time. And um, so that that gives us, and we've also had a, a lot of um, support from the Greek government. Our power plant on Crete is very innovative, and we applied for subsidies under um, the, the EU NER 300 program. And um, in December, we were awarded um, a 42 million euro subsidy for this power plant, which vastly improves the, the economics and the, and, the, and the bankability of the project. And again, this was um, through the graces of the, the, the various ministries in the, in the Greek government and the, and the support of the, of the government throughout. Um, now, the, I guess the, the, the only remaining issue and this is not an issue which is um, only a, a Greek issue, is the, you know, the bankability of, of PPAs. And we're very concerned about that because, um, because of the introduction of renewables, because of the economic crisis, there's, very, you know, there's a lot of deficits have been introduced into the system. Um, there's a, a lot of the entities are being um, restructured, so it's not um, clear what, what is your counterparty, what is the credit rating of your counterparty. So for us, the, the biggest issue here is the stability and the, the bankability of the, of the system. And we really need to see a market structure and regulatory environment stabilize um, so that projects like ourselves, which are very innovative and interesting and fit into the grid technically um, very well, can actually be uh, financed. So I'm going to keep my remarks uh, um, brief, and um, we can interact on the, the Q&A. Uh, thanks. thanks very much, Mr. Sara. Uh, I will go to Mr. Kumala Ferreira from uh, Iberdrola. He will give us the Spanish example. I would like to thank uh, the organizers for inviting me. I'm going to highlight some aspects from the 